welcome to the session of two phase commit protocol and its failure handling under the course of advanced database system for the chapter distributed system handling of failures in two phase commit protocol already we have studied the working of two phase commit protocol how it works how the messages are generated how the commit protocol will execute and how it will take the decision for commit or aborting the transaction in the distributed system now we'll see how the failure of handling for the two phase commit protocol response so there are different ways to handle failure for the two phase commit protocol such as failure of a participating site failure of the coordinator network partition these are the three types of failures which can happen while working under the two phase commit protocol starting with the first one failure of a participating site if the coordinator ci detects that a site has failed it takes the action there are two possibilities if site fails before ready team message if site fails after receiving the ready team message so if the site fails before the ready team message then it will take the decision as aborting the transaction but if the site has received the ready team message and then it has failed then it executes the rest of commit protocol in the normal fashion ignoring the failure of the site now in the normal determination there are there are many things if the log contains commit t then the site executes redo if the log contains abort t the site executes undo why because it's an abort message if the log contains ready t and it not decided commit or abort then it will determine the fate of a transaction and then it is committed or aborted by undoing and redoing the transaction the log contains no control record concerning t so the failed site before responding to the prepared t message must execute always the undo message the second type of failure that is failure of the coordinator so in this transaction uh, commit protocol the the coordinator has failed failed so if the coordinator fails while the commit protocol for a, for, for a transaction t is executing then the participating sites must decide how the t's fate is and what to do about the transaction t so there are many things again if an active site contains commit t it means that it has to be committed if an active site contains abort then it is aborting if an active site is the not containing ready t then it records the its log and accordingly it will take the decision if none of the above happens it means that active sites must have ready t record in their logs but no additional control like abort and commit therefore now according to the decision if ready t has recorded then no additional control abort or commit is there now in this case the active sites must wait for the coordinator to recover and find the decision so this is the blocking problem actually where the active sites may have to wait for failed coordinator to recover the third type is network partition if the coordinator and all its participants remain in one partition the failure has no effect on the commit protocol if the coordinator and its participant uh, of several partitions then the sites that are not in the partition containing the coordinator think that the coordinator has failed and execute the protocol to deal with the failure of the coordinator so here no results are harmful the coordinator and the sites are in the same partition as the coordinator think that the sites in the other partition have failed and follow the usual commit protocol thank you